Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the Edit Place. And today, if you're coming here from my main channel video, we are going to be talking about how to fix the uh, kind of dull and ugly desaturated colors that can come when you transfer iPhone footage to the computer. I have it in DaVinci Resolve here, but you can pretty much use any other program. I'm just gonna add a couple different nodes as I always do. The first thing that I wanna talk about, which is the easiest, is actually gonna be using a program called Cinematch. This is a fantastic company. They also make uh, Nitrate, which is a film emulation plugin. Uh, but Cinematch is fantastic because they truly match based on the sensor calibrations of all the different cameras that they support. So you can check that out here. Once you have it installed to your computer, you're just going to go in under effects and all the way at the bottom, we'll see Cinematch here. I'll drag that on to our node and we can see this setup here where I can go under the camera profile and I'm gonna pick which camera this was shot with. So as you can see, this isn't just for phones, this is for so many different cameras out there and they're always adding new stuff. So we're going to go under Apple, it's the iPhone 14 Pro sensor, and if you use the Filmic Log 3 or just Dolby. So since this was shot in the native camera app, this is with Dolby. And then what's cool is if you want to match it to another camera, so say you were trying to match it to an Aerial Alexa or something, you can do that here. But for now, we just want to keep it the same profile. So I'm going to put the same thing. And then you'll notice zero changes so far. So as soon as I click apply Rec 709 transformation, we can see now we have a much more uh, uh, realistic colors come back into play. It's still quite a bit, uh, not necessarily overexposed, but it's on the higher end for me. So now you have a lot of exposure controls. So I'm actually gonna lower the exposure just a touch. That's kind of messing with the, the shadows and midtones. So I'm gonna go into my RGB curves here and just bring up those a little bit. Of course, we can go in and mess with color temperature, but I think it was pretty good. And really it's as simple as that in terms of transformation. Now, another way you can do this if you don't wanna pay for a plugin, if I go back to this, uh, of course you can do this manually, right? Like we can just use our basic primary tools to add in a little bit of contrast just that. And really the biggest issue that I notice iPhone footage has is very yellowy kind of skin tones. It's a lot of times in the highlights. So I'm going to go under my gain and just pull that in the opposite direction a little bit. If I really wanted to, I could even go in and I'm going to add a parallel node, use our qualifier tool. And this will essentially grab all the yellow bits. All right, now when I turn that off, I'm gonna go back to my primaries. And you can see now we're just really adjusting those yellow tones. I like that right there. On and off, it's very subtle, but it just has a little bit more of a natural warmth feel to it. So this is our before, and this is our after. And it may look pretty subtle, but again, this isn't any sort of stylizing. That is very much just kind of a correction to get it look more realistic, in my opinion. Of course, from here, you can go in and add your own style. As you can see, the iPhone is pretty good right off the bat, but a lot of times for me, it's really just the skin tones that is the biggest issue. And so once you go in and really just adjust those colors, then it makes it incredibly easy. If you're just trying to fix iPhone footage, I think you can do it without having to pay for any plugins. But if you are trying to match it to maybe you own a Blackmagic camera or a Sony camera or something like that, then having a Cinematch plugin can be extremely helpful. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more DaVinci Resolve and other editing tips and tricks. See you in the next video.